to find the most updated and best convertible MTP helmets, we did research over several models in the market. We observed that newcoming MTP helmets with removable chin bar are more upgraded than the earlier editions. Latest helmets are making use of quality material with improved construction techniques. We assess these convertible helmets after considering their weight, comfort, ventilation, protection, and convertibility. There are many products available to choose from best convertible MTP helmet each with different characteristics, benefits, and prices. To help you make a perfect decision I did deep research, read tons of reviews, and compiled a list of the best convertible MTP helmet from reputable brands. After much research, I found these products much helpful for people like you. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check my description. So without any further delay let's jump into the video. Number 1. Lixata Kids Convertible Helmet. According to the manufacturer, this helmet has four layers of protection. It's strong and hard polycarbonate shell, covers the EPS foam, and the EPS foam covers by sponge pads. All these layers help to minimize impact pressure and improve the overall safety performance of this helmet. No doubt, this helmet offers basic protection in all child sports activities like skateboarding, roller skating, scooter, electronic board, and mini bike riding. However, I will not recommend it for a higher rate of speed, other than a bicycle this convertible helmet is specially designed for kids. So, every kid can easily switch between half and full face mode by pushing both buttons above the ears. However, I felt it pops off very easily and doesn't seem very protective. But for the child, it is safe enough. My son usually does not remove it and feels secure in it. One thing that my son does not like is its fixed visor position. On Sunny Number 2. Demon United MTP Helmet with Removable Chin Bar. I chose this helmet based on its good appearance and attractive price point. I am impressed with its construction quality. During the examination, it felt easy to take off its shin guard, but difficult to reattach it. Gyro Switchblade has a relatively smooth shin guard insulation mechanism as compared to this helmet. I have to take off this helmet every time before shin guard insulation. However, its shin guard is lightweight, I barely know the shin guard is there after attaching it. During the trial, its 20 big vents opening allows cool air to pass directly over my head. After testing at different speeds, I rate this helmet as a good ventilated helmet. In wool construction of the outer shell with polycarbonate material, makes this helmet strong and lightweight. But it does not have the impact absorbing MIPS technology. So, this helmet is perfect for beginner or hobby trail riders. This helmet can also easily accommodate goggles and sunglasses. There is enough space to place goggles above your brow by moving the visor to an up position. However, its shin strap and dial knob need some build quality improvement. It is only CPSC certified. It does not have the downhill BMX or ASTM F1952 certification. Number 3. Sweet Protection Arbitrator MIPS Helmet. It is the best convertible MTP helmet without any compromise on safety. According to the manufacturer, this helmet has an internal structure that is made of idle thermoplastic material. This internal frame goes through the whole helmet to make a very strong and rigid shell. Our safety expert also marked this helmet best for downhill racing in full face mode. Its shin guard is made of carbon fiber, but the upper shell is made of thermoplastic material. Moreover, it comes with a standard MIPS system to add more protection against rotational impacts. To be honest, I have no crash experience with this helmet, but I am ensured this helmet can do its job perfectly. Its shin bar connecting mechanism is pretty secure. There are two stainless steel and one carbon fiber tab on the chin bar which slot into the internal frame of the zidal material. There is a need to pull or push a handle lock in the back to remove or reinstall the chin bar. However, I found the chin bar disconnecting mechanism simple, but reconnecting is tricky. First time to pull off this task I was really afraid to break the helmet. But after some practice it becomes easy. However, putting on and off this helmet does not feel comfortable to me. Moreover, there is a number 4. Bell Super Air R MIPS Convertible MTP Helmet. Bell Super Air R is the updated version of Bell Super 3R. This latest model resolves all the issues of Bell Super 3R, but its high-end features cost some additional price. During the examination, I found its shin bar removal or re-insulation mechanism is more convenient than Super 3R. In this latest model, the chin bar back buckle is eliminated. So, during testing, I felt it very easy to remove or reinstall its shin bar without taking off this helmet. Moreover, this helmet weight is 144 grams less than Bell 3R Bell Super Air R has a lot of vent openings. Its 18 vent openings are integrated with 5 full-length front-to-back channels on the top of the head. During the trial, I found its ventilation system very effective. Its 4 over-brow vents that are also integrated with the air channel matrix and EPS foam help to maximize cool air circulation over the rider's head. One of the most notable improvements that Bell made in this model is spherical MIPS technology. In spherical MIPS technology, the sliding plane is hidden between the EPS core and outer shells. Moreover, its dual-density EPS core can absorb high and low-speed impact excellently. All these results in enhanced protection and comfort level of this helmet. 
Last week my neighbor crashed into a rock from 6 feet height while wearing this helmet. He did not get a single scratch on his head and face. Number 5. Bell Super 3R MIPS Convertible MTP Helmet. Its four brow ports are designed to stop sweat from dripping into the eyes. When I tried my 100% Strata goggle with this helmet, then these front brow ports also help to keep warm moist air away from the goggles. During the ride, when I don't want to use eyewear then I parked it on the top of this helmet without any problem. Before testing, I found the removal of its shin bar through three visible clamps is relatively simple. But one thing that annoys me is its clamp on the backside. Due to this, I felt the need to take off this helmet every time before removing or reinstalling its shin bar. There are two clamps on each side near the ears that are easy to operate, but one on the rear side is a little tricky. In open face mode, this helmet is lightweight, 0.99 pounds, and comfortable. After detaching the chin bar, the non-twistable chin strap made a perfect Y around my ears. Moreover, I did not feel any listening problem with this helmet in full face mode. In open face, that's all from my end. I make helpful videos daily so do subscribe my channel. If you need more information or if you want to know product price do check out my description. For any kind of problem please comment below. Stay updated with our cool products as it will make your life much more easier.